Hello, my name is Madam CJ Walker, and I was wondering if you would like to buy this new hair product. It'll help your scalp so your hair can grow. Um, I'm sorry. I don't think my, my hair can take anything right now. It's gone all frizzy and falling out recently. CJ really wanted to sell her product, but not just for the money, but for other African-American women. I'll do a free treatment for your hair if you buy my hair product for only 10 cents. Would have my hair stop falling out? Sarah Breedlove, now known as Madam C.J. Walker, was born in Delta, Louisiana on December 23, 1867. Although she had a lot of family that were enslaved, she was in fact free. When Sarah was seven years old, both of her parents passed away due to yellow fever. At 17, she gave birth to her daughter named Alila. At the age of 20, she became a widow and a single mother. In 1888, Sarah had moved to St. Louis with her daughter, and she had two options for her work, as a washerwoman or as a servant. She chose to work as a washerwoman. In 1906, she married a man named Charles Walker, who encouraged her to use the name Madame C.J. Walker. As time went by, Sarah developed a scalp disease, which caused her hair to fall out. So, she made and used her own hair products then, her hair started to grow back. The local woman became curious about what she was using in her hair, so she started selling the product. She traveled around the southern United States, mostly where there were churches, and she was looking for mostly African-American women. By 1910, Sarah's business grew and she opened a salon and a manufacturing facility. She was a woman who had used her money to try and make a difference in the world. In 1919, Sarah died from kidney failure when she was 51. She left a fortune of $1 million. Although she has passed, she will always be remembered, and even now in 2019, her products are being sold. Sarah, now Madame C.J. Walker, once said, To be beautiful does not refer alone to the arrangements of the hair, the perfection of the complexion, or the beauty of the form. To be beautiful, one must combine these qualities with a beautiful mind and soul, a beautiful character, physical and mental cleansing cleanliness, together with good health are essentials to attain loveliness.